and it's time for another video, so let's go large. This astonishing coin was made by Perth Mint for the island of Naui. Is this coin just too big? Well, can there be a better place to start, in all honesty? This coin is just potentially too big for its own boots. Uh, it is the largest coin that I have ever uh, had sent to me for grading. And it measures around 180 um, millimeters across, which, uh, as it turns out, is too big to fit into an XXL slab. And the crazy thing is, NGC do make an even bigger slab than XXL called the Mega Slab. And this coin may just fit in to one of those crazy over the top slabs. But a couple of things about this. One is that it looks like it's silver, but actually it's got a core of copper and there's silver clad round the outside of it. So there's around five ounces of silver in this and the rest of the weight is copper but the quality of the minting is just amazing. Okay, look, it's not everybody's cup of tea in terms of the design. It's meant to appeal to a particular market sector. But, you know, what I thought when I saw this coin for the first time is, well, if the Perth Mint can produce something to this kind of depth of strike, to this kind of standard, why can't the Royal Mint get their act together on producing perfect, beautifully made, well-finished quality, high relief coins. Um, you know, and I know, for example, they seem to have had trouble minting the Una. And, uh, you know, surely something could be done about that and they could get extra equipment in, which will allow them to produce much, much better, more high relief collector's items. So. This particular coin, um, I've got it in for uh, grading uh, at NGC, and I'm going to try and see whether this one can fit into one of their ultra, ultra slabs, because that would be so much fun to feature on the channel. This Kilo Britannia would normally appear to be monstrously big, but having just seen the, um, the, the Perth Mint Mega Coin, uh, this one looks like it's a tiny, run-of-the-mill, everyday coin. These one kilo proof coins are pretty rarely seen. They've got a £500 denomination. Um, there's one kilo of silver in this. And these were over £2,000 from the Royal Mint when they were brand new. And one thing that is clear is that the designs that the Mint comes up with they look so magnificent on this one kilo coin. It's like the whole design comes to life and you can see every bit of the sculpture that, that is that coin design. And uh, I, I actually think they've done a great job on this. I'm always worried with larger silver coins about spotting because uh, if these coins do spot and there seems to be no rhythm or rhyme to it and no explanation, uh, you do have a problem potentially. But of course, if they don't spot, what you've got is a rather magnificent and very beautiful um, silver coin with a very low mintage. Guys, the next little segment we've got here is about coins which are fake, not genuine. And have you ever had a coin that you've bought as a genuine coin that turned out to be not genuine? Uh, it's happened to me. A, a bullion sovereign I bought recently turned out to be not genuine. It's probably made of gold. And quite a few of these coins you're seeing here that have been uh, determined to be fake by NGC are also made of gold, but they're not genuine. So what do you do? Uh, have you been able to return them? Uh, what, what's your, been your experience with these kind of coins? The ones that I've seen most often have been pre-33 Indian head coins and sovereigns and also American uh, gold dollars. But tell me, what's your experience? 
And with loads of great new coins coming out in September, October, there's never been a better time to buy from the coin connection. Code Barry for 2% off in September. A lot of you guys are always asking me to feature these mega results videos and open the box and see what's inside. Well, a load of coins have come back from grading at NGC. So I just saved a couple of boxes just so I can let you know what everybody is choosing to grade. Um, okay, what the things that I've noticed, big, big amounts of interest in the music series from the Royal Mint, every different variety. These are really popular colorized Elton John coins, and they all got uh, first releases designation. You can see there's quite a few of them. Um, these were, I think, well, two things. One is a lot of these coins weren't perfect, and there were a lot of 69s given to these coins. So I think if you do manage to find one or two perfect ones with a 70, you're doing very well, and they're likely to have a bit of a premium. But the overall mintage on these was around 7,000 coins, so there's going to be quite a few of them around. I think they sold out pretty quickly, and uh, a lot of people sent them to me for submission to NGC. And you can see there's a whole stack load of these colorized one-ounce coins. Two-ounce coins, quite a few of those have come in originally and also later, so there will be, be quite a few of these Elton John coins being graded. They're getting a variable uh, result, quite a few 69s, the occasional 70, and yet more Elton John coins. There will be another Music Legends series out uh, towards the end of the year, maybe even early next year. Not quite sure what it is yet. Uh, my bet is on David Bowie, but people have mentioned uh, the Spice Girls, uh, a little bit in horror, but they have been mentioned, so I don't know yet exactly what it is. But uh, judging by the uh, interest in Elton, I think that uh, that third music legends one is going to do really well. You may find that there are some of those ready graded by NG by NGC and uh, the Royal Mint as a 70 if you want to get one of those um, as a 70. But you can see just how many of these Elton John coins uh, people have been buying. Um, I've never seen such interest in a coin and I think it has a really, really nice design and probably a little bit better than the original Queen coin as well. There will be uh, another Queen coin coming out very soon. Should get the first one of those in a few days time with a five ounce gold. So you'll be able to see that. And you can see here the one ounce, uh, the one ounce Elton John coin. Um, only I think 300, 350 of those were minted. The one ounce I think is a really good, uh, good denomination. Um, less expensive than the two ounce but uh, the mintage has also been pretty low. Some of the, um, I think these are mine actually. Yeah, these ones, I, I ordered them when they were brand new and they took about three months for them to come from the Royal Mint. I don't know why, maybe they had to remint them or something. 1977 crowns, um, quite a bit of interest in the these crowns, uh, both in Cooper Nickel and Silver. The Cooper Nickel ones can be picked up very, very cheaply. Uh, and uh, the best ones of those are likely to be graded. The silver ones, there's a lot more interest as well. Uh, quite a nice kind of um, slightly off the radar Royal Mint crown. Still a lot of interest in the Queen's Beasts and we've just had the new Greyhound coin just being released by the Mint. If you want to buy one of those, they're probably still available because they were only released a day or two back on the Royal Mint website. So look at those. You can see here this collector has uh, sent in every single one of those proof Queen's Beasts, the Falcon, the Bull, the Griffin, the Lion, uh, everyone. And they all actually did really well and all got 70s, which is a, a great result. Yale or Beaufort. I don't know which is your favourite one. I, my favourite, I think, is probably the original Lion one, the, uh, the first Lion of England. Then we've got some silver, uh, silver pie fort. Um, 2002 Commonwealth Games coins and uh, you can see that one has fitted into a regular holder. It's always quite fun working out which Pie Fork coins are going to require a thick holder and which ones can just have the regular one. But I've uh, got two sets of these to show you and uh, never had two sets of these in different materials before at the same time so you'll be able to see the difference. So you've got the silver one which is silver with a gilt, uh, gilt wrapper 
and then uh, there's a solid gold one coming up as well in this video so uh, very very different okay so uh, you can see here the uh, the coins these did very very well so 70s England Scotland and there's also Wales and Northern Ireland uh, almost got uh, Wales got a 69 unfortunately but Northern Ireland um, well also a 69 so two 69s and two 70s not bad going um, I think the owner of those will be pretty pleased and you've seen in the video a number of these Peru Libras there's lots of people picking those out as uh, coins to grade but it's quite fun seeing these two two lots together uh, you've got the sort of silver with a little bit of colorized and the uh, the gold I think if I had to choose my preference would be on the solid gold ones but you know hey that's the way I roll and uh, solid gold does it for me uh, if this video has done it for you please subscribe and uh, please click on the little bell and uh, get notified of when the next Numistaka video is going to be up uh, for you to look at.